Hey everybody, this is Ash for the Triple S League. I hope you're having a better day than this poor guy with his head on the grill. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to find the Marine Armor in Fallout 4 Far Harbor. Now the Marine Armor is an advanced set of combat armor that is exclusive to Far Harbor, and I'll be showing you how to get the best variation of Marine Armor, which is the Assault Marine Armor, which has excellent stats in all three damage resist categories, second only to Power Armor and its protective quality, so it's the best non-powered armor in the game unless future DLC includes something better. The one downside is it's very heavy armor. A complete set with helmet weighs 95 pounds in your inventory. However, if you have the Armorer perk at rank 3, you can apply the Ultra Light mod, which brings the weight down considerably. So here's how you find it. The armor pieces are in three separate steamer trunks, which are sunken offshore in three different locations near the island. Now you have to have completed the quest Best Left Forgotten, which is the quest where you recover all of Dima's memories, you have to have collected the fifth and final memory where he mentions the advanced combat armor. Otherwise, the chests do not spawn. You can go and visit the locations where they're supposed to be, and they won't be there unless you've completed Best Left Forgotten. So once you've done that quest, you'll receive a miscellaneous quest that'll point you to the location of the three steamer trunks. So if you're looking at your Pip-Boy and thinking, oh, why don't I have a quest to show me where to find this armor? It's because it's tucked away under the miscellaneous quests. The first steamer trunk is sunk offshore near Rayburn Point, which is home to a lot of trappers. You'll probably want to clear them out first, but anyway, then you just proceed in a sort of southwesterly direction. Just follow the indicator on your radar. It'll lead you way out into the ocean. You're going to do some swimming, so prepare to take on some rads. Bring your radix or your radiation suit. So after you've swum out a little ways, you'll see the indicator. Swim around to the far side of this big crate. You'll see the steamer trunk inside. Just take everything and head on back to shore. The second steamer trunk is found here near Haddock Cove. Watch out for mire lurks here and watch out for things that jump out of the water at you. I, I encountered a legendary... Mirelurk Deep King, which literally jumped out of nowhere and almost killed me. So watch out for that. Once again, you're going to be swimming offshore. You're going to find this partly sunken boat. Swim around to the far side. So you're looking back at the island. So you're going to swim inside this boat. Not this first door. Swim down to the lower level. And inside here, you'll find the steamer trunk with both of the armor legs. And the final armor shipment crate can be found off the shore near the Harbor Grand Hotel. Watch out for super mutants here. There's quite a few of them, and they can be difficult to fight in the fog. So you can just run off the end of the pier here. You're going to be swimming out quite a ways. So when the distance on your radar gets to around 10, just head straight down and the trunk is right below you. And this is where you find the arms. So you can see that the stats on this armor are pretty good. A lot better than what I had on before. Yeah, that looks pretty badass. So I hope this helps. Enjoy scrounging for this armor, and most importantly of all, enjoy kicking ass in it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Those things help us out a lot. Also, join us over at Sugarbombed for community, discussions, and gaming news.